accuracy and does our measure measure the concept okay and the whole focus of psychometrics is on the issue of validity and there is another concept that we are going to look at which is reliability reliability is about repeatability or consistency and it means do our scale items go very with each other or or not right so that is the whole whole effort of psychometrics reliability as well as validity in the end in the end we are all interested in developing valid measures of our construct so what we want to do is is, is this okay uh, so there are different uh, uh, ways of or different ways of assigning numbers one is called as a nominal scale another one is called as ordinal the third is called as interval and the fourth one is called as uh, ratio so a nominal scale so just remember these these terminologies they are they are important for for us to uh, look at uh, so when we look at nominal scale nominal scale is when you can only categorize so there are some items in which only categorization is is possible you cannot uh, do any particular operation so a good example of this would be actually gender gender so if you look at gender i can say well it could it is either male or female right so it is it depends on whether the uh, respondent is a male or, or 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 female and i can only categorize so what is the statistic that i can do on this number i can only do a frequency right i can only check uh, frequencies right which is essentially mode i can count number of cases i can categorize right that is the only only uh, thing that i can do using this ordinal is when you have uh, numbers and they can also be graded okay let me just uh, check uh, there are some people who are yes so so are you all uh, i think now Uh, you are able to see my screen okay good so let us yes so let us go let us go ahead uh, the the other kind of numbers that you can assign uh, to your uh, in your scale is what we call as a ordinal scale and the best example of an ordinal scale is actually what we call as the likert scale right so remember likert uh, uh likert scale is is a scale for example it has 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so you have numbers that you have assigned you can also have 7 point 6 point and and so on so a likert scale has numbers they are also ordered so it they are all ordered okay they are all ordered 1 is less than 2 2 is less than 3 3 is less than 4 4 is less than 5 however in a ordinal scale you cannot say that the difference between 1 and 2 is the same between 2 and 3 is the same between 3 and 4 4 and 5 that means the distances may not be the the differences may not be the same that means for example strongly disagree to disagree is that the difference between strongly disagree to disagree is that the same as disagree to neutral 
right so we cannot do that kind of uh, uh, sort of, we cannot say for sure whether these differences are same so what are the permissible statistics you can do medians you can do percentiles you can do order statistic rank order non parametric kind of uh, analysis but the typical uh, uh, statistics is uh, is not supposed to be done however uh, let me also mention that we do all these kinds of statistics on likert also so it is okay but from a purist point of view if you were to talk to a pure statistician they will not say that likert scale is an interval scale they will say it is a it is an ordinal scale now if you go to an interval scale right interval scales are again you have the same kind of ordering but interval scales assume that the difference between 1 and 2 is the same as the difference between 2 and 3 it's the same as difference between 3 and 4 4 and 5 right so this is a very good example could be temperature degree celsius right so 10 degrees and 20 degrees the difference is same as 20 degree and 30 degrees 30 degrees to 40 degrees 40 degrees to 50 degrees so this is all the the differences are all 10 degrees they are all the same which we could not have said in an ordinal ordinal scale right so that is that is uh, uh, something and with this you can do all kinds of testing you can do regressions you can do complex SEM, all these kinds of analysis can be can be done. Having said that, again I will repeat that we do all these analysis with Likert scales also, but from a purist point of view, it is said not to be uh, uh, applicable. Just wanted to, but just wanted to show you. The last one is ratio. In ratio, it is the same as interval, but you can also take ratios now. That means I can say 20 divided by 10 ratio is 2. That means 20 degrees is twice as hot as 10 degrees. And 40 degrees is twice as hot as, as 20 degrees. Well, the ratio is also also same but here the we don't we cannot say this that 40 is twice as hot as this and 20 is twice as hot as 10 these ratios may not be not be meaningful meaning okay so you cannot take ratios in in uh, uh, in an interval scale so for that you should have a meaningful to take ratios you should have a meaningful zero a meaningful zero a good example of this is length ratio scales length weight okay so so that is that is something that you can uh, you can uh, but for most of our work we will usually work with likert scales in our scale development and we can do regressions and SEMs also uh, this is quite accepted in in social sciences 